Are you tired of not being able to write chord progressions? Are your beats sounding whack and weird? Don't let this happen to you. Get the not all new Circle of Fifths. With the Circle of Fifths, you can easily write amazing chord progressions and always stay in key. Take your beats from lame to insane. Don't struggle anymore with your production sounding out of key. Download the Circle of Fifths today. You can find the Circle of Fifths by going to Google and doing simple Google searches like you search anything else in the world. So in making beats or instrumentals, we have to remember that it's all about the music and every song should have a solid chord progression and be set in a certain key. That way all the elements of the song are working together correctly and you're not hearing any wrong or wacky notes, thus making the listener cringe. I know when I first started producing, I didn't know what chord progressions were. I didn't even know how to build chords or scales. But I've learned that chord progressions are a solid factor in creating really good music. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily write chord progressions using what's called the circle of fifths. The circle of fifths is a diagram and a tool that shows all the major chords and the corresponding minor chords and the relationship of those chords and which ones work together in which key. So I'm going to write a four bar chord progression today using the circle of fifths and show you guys how you can use that circle of fifths to create your own badass chord progressions. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the circle of fifths. Now on the outside ring, you have all the major chords. So it's a C major, G major, D major, A major, E major, so on and so forth. And then on the bottom, you got the corresponding minor chords. So the first thing we have to do is pick the key of our song, which basically we have to pick one of these chords that's going to determine what other chords we're going to use. For this demonstration, I chose A flat minor. Now the way to find out which other chords work with A flat minor is we look at a chord to the left and one to the right. So if we do that, we end up with C sharp minor and E flat minor. So we know those two chords are going to work with A flat minor. Then to find out what major chords are going to work, we look directly below, which is B major, and again, we go one to the left and one to the right. So we end up with B major, E major, and F sharp major. Just by looking at this diagram, we know that in the key of A flat minor, the chords that are going to work are C sharp minor, E flat minor, F sharp major, B major, and E major. So now that we know all the chords that are going to work in A flat minor, we're going to pick the chords and play them out and hear how they sound. So I'm going to go from A flat minor to B major to E flat minor and then end at E major. So let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. So you can see how those chords sound really beautiful together. And that's a great starting point for writing my song. Um, now I can record that in and start adding different elements like bass and different melodies that follow the chord structure and make sure everything is gonna be in A flat minor. So I took this chord progression and I built around it and basically completed the songs. And this is how it sounds like. So I really wanted to show you how important chord progressions are and a very easy way that you can write your own, especially if you know little to nothing about chord progressions or making chords. I hope this video has helped. Um, I hope you found it informative. I'll make some videos going into detail about how you can find different chords, um, but for now, Googling those chords might do the trick. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And uh, we'll see you guys later.